Hey guys, it's Steph here from taste.com.au and we're filming an episode of Taste Challenge today. And so I'm here with Michelle Southam, food director for taste.com.au. And so today's challenge is, can you cob it? I think you could cob almost anything these days. Everyone is putting everything in a cob. Tell us, how do you make this? Okay, well, today I thought we'd really go out there, have a bit of a challenge and show you, you can do an entree, a main and a dessert in a cob. It's really, really easy. So all you do is you grab your serrated knife. A serrated knife is much better because it's going to cut through much easier. Just hold it up and just slice the top off. So then what you need to do is you just need to put your hands in there and just pull it all out and pull out the filling. And then we pop that in the oven for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees. So you just need to leave enough of a base. You don't want it to have any holes in the base because mm -hmm. obviously it will leak. We've brushed inside with some cranberry sauce and we've popped in your brie. Mm. So you just grab a brie from the supermarket. The great thing about the cob is that they're just so easy to do and I think that's why people love doing them. And then we've popped thyme on top and we've baked this for 15 minutes and as you can see here, oh, oh it's pretty, look, it's pretty gooey <laughs> to say the least. That's an entire wheel of brie. It is. <laughs> Up a little bit of extra cranberry sauce on top because that adds a bit of pop of colour. Love Beautiful. a pop of colour. And then we're going to put some almonds on top <laughs> and a drizzle of some honey. Actually, look for, for effect. Look, oh. oh, yeah, there you this go. This isn't your first honey drip cob. <laughs> it's definitely not my first and won't be my last. <laughs> there we it go. gets to a point where you've run out of bread. Do you tear apart the cob? That's what. We have a tendency to do, I must okay. admit. Okay, now All right, next mates. one, dinner. We better get on to dinner, otherwise we're starving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've, we've um, baked this one, this cob, brush it with some garlic butter on the inside. We've already baked the croutons for the outside, 15 minutes again at mm -hmm. 180 degrees on a fan or 200 normal. And then we've got our butter chicken. So just saute off some chicken, five pieces. So we've just put some yogurt, some cream, and the pan fried chicken and some tandoori paste together. Mm -hmm. Chuck it Heat in. it all up and you're good to go. You pop it in your cob mm -hmm. and then yet again, I love making things look even more yummy than they already are. What's this? Let me put some on. That's a mango chutney. Nothing like a sprinkling. You could put some coriander in it if you wanted to as well. Yeah, some people hate coriander though. Yeah, they do. But I don't know why. I love it. <laughs> And that's it. And that's it. Easy. And that's dinner in a cob. There you go. And the, the chicken really does only take about 15 minutes to make. Yeah. Okay. So we'll move on. Sorry, I've got to move everything. Here we go to our dessert. Now this is where we have a lot of fun when we're doing cob dishes at, um, when we're in the test kitchen. And this would be awesome for kids' birthday parties especially mm -hmm. as well. People love this recipe. It went off on social. So what we've done is we've made, a, we've made cheesecake basically. So it's cream cheese that you have at room temperature. You add some cream and some sugar mm -hmm. and we've added some white chocolate just you know why not why not and <laughs> and we've whipped it up into a nice soft mixture as you can see mm -hmm. we've put it in a cob so we've baked it then we've cooled it yeah and then we've drizzled it with some extra white um chocolate and some hundreds and thousands because this is our fairy bread cob don't well you love named. it don't Very you well love named. it and you take all these extra bits and you just pop them on and decorate it there we go stick some of those in it's all good to go. And so there are our three cobs. So we've got entree, main and dessert. And they're all pretty delicious, I must say. And I think we're off to lunch soon. I love it. All right, let's just, I'll take this to go. <laughs> You'll um, have that one. <laughs> well, thank you so much for tuning in to Taste Challenge. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have more challenges you want us to see, just let us know. I know. And for all these recipes and so much more and all the information, hints and tips you need to cook at home, just go to taste.com.au forward slash challenge. Bye. Bye. Bye.